remember when you were young and your parents told you to be careful who you hang out with, select your friends wisely? It's still true today because negative influences, we can oftentimes be affected by those negative influences. And, and that's not only people, but also what we watch on TV, what we read, what we're streaming, it can alter our perception of the world. So how do you combat that? Sometimes you can just extricate yourself from a conversation. For example, if there's a group of people at work who are always complaining. Okay, sometimes complaining is important because then you can take action to correct the situation. But if they're not taking action and they just sit around and moan all day, extricate yourself from that. That could be fairly easy to do or, or, or maybe stop seeing that friend so often, maybe change the relationship. That stuff can be relatively easy to do as soon as you become aware of it and you say, you know what, I don't want those negative influences in my life. And sometimes it's much more difficult than that. So what can you do to combat that negativity? Well, you can control your thoughts because that's the one thing nobody else can control. You should never uh, give the power to someone else to dictate what your thoughts are. That's slavery. Take charge of your, your, your own thoughts. Take charge of your own life. But we have all been affected by that negativity. So how do we combat that? Well, it starts with deep self-analysis. And listen, it is way easier to point a finger and say, that person's doing that wrong, or I don't like that person because they're this. But we should introspect. Instead of worrying about what everybody else is doing, start thinking about yourself. 